Nova. We're at the Great Mall today. I never been here before. It's an outlet mall. I'm kind of excited. I hope it live up to its name. So let's go see. First place we're gonna go is Neiman Marcus Last Call. So this is basically where they put all the extras from Neiman Marcus and with discounts here. There's lots of designer stuff here, lots of bag, lots of clothes, lots of everything. But I think my footage doesn't really do it justice. I was trying on this hat and super bling is full of gems and different multiple colors. I feel like I'm probably not cool enough to rock this. What do you think? And looking around, there's actually a lot of designer bags I, I would really want. I should have filmed more, but you know what? Look at this. Call Logger Feelings cat. So freaking cute! There's also a kind of a home corner with all your home stuff, home decor is really nice. And then I want the case bay, but I was chilling outside sitting on these massage chairs and not really using them because, I mean, I'm not sure who does. I found this flamingo ring at Case Bay. It's super super cute. I have a couple Case Bay jewelry pieces. They're all very cute. I really like them. And they are 70% off. Here at Coach, I found this super cute teddy bear. Super well made obviously, but $600? Mmm, that is a little steep. I wonder, I mean, do you think I should buy it at let's say 70% off? This is a really cute bag right here because you can see the inside has the other print with the unicorn. I kind of really like it. I kind of almost bought it but I have the exact same shape just as a different bag at home and this is another print but I don't know I feel like these might be unique enough to buy. This keychain is so cute it's only like $30 after discount which is pretty good for coach but probably still a little steep for a keychain. Headed to Starbucks because I was really, really thirsty. I got this mango dragon fruit drink it's so pretty I really like it and this is my first time trying it too. <laughs> we went to Fedora Secret and fall into bra heaven for $14.99 a pop for a bra. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. So yeah, I got a lot to try it on. Dig into it. Panties are $2.99, it's a freaking steal, but they were mostly done, so I didn't really get that many. But I was trying. H&M, I haven't been here for a while, of course they're on sale as well, and look at you, kinda cute. So I got into trying some clothes on, and I was gonna see if I can show you the back, but it's kind of really blocked, so nope. But yeah, so this is like a titty fur material, which is like really trendy and in. I kinda really like this blush color, it has nice big pockets and really soft material. And if you look up close, here is what it look like. Um, I this is actually super warm. I was sweating the whole time. <laughs> Next up, we have a friend's hoodie, which is something I always want to get, like friends merchandise, because I love that show so freaking much. Overall, it's pretty basic and medium thickness for let's say fall. Again, it's a hoodie, it fits me well. I, this is a size small and I think it's $24 so it's pretty affordable. I think it's good. Um, I don't know if it's like a different price compared to normal H&M's since I am at an outlet. Overall, I would definitely recommend this if you want a friend's merchandise. Here's what it looks like if you have a hoodie on. I actually don't really like hoodies, that's why I don't really have any. What do you think? Do you like them? Next stop is a crop top sweater. I think it's pretty retro looking including the style and the color. I usually, well actually I don't own any of these kind of clothing because I'm a little self-conscious about <laughs> wearing crop tops. It is like really cute and really soft. I kind of really like it. Um, it's something that I want to be able to wear probably. I also usually never wear turtlenecks because I think my neck is a little short. This is not a full on turtleneck, so maybe it looks okay. Retro Vibes is really in right now, so if you're into that, I think I will highly recommend this sweater. This is the boyfriend shirt that we saw at the front of the store. 
I think it's really cute and the material is actually very substantial it's literally a coat but it doesn't really look like it which I really like to feel like hey I'm not wearing so much but actually I'm still really warm <laughs> and I think I probably look better in a more like lazy off-shoulder style with this I literally just made that name up I hope that's somewhat real <laughs> of a term I realize there's no pocket here but that's fine because it's not actually a coat but it literally feels like a coat because I am sweating in here here you can see the back I think the thickness of the material really helped with the structure of the boyfriend shirt look I think that's really cute and this shirt is about $30 which I think is really good here's a close-up to the buttons and the sleeve so cute here we have a teddy jacket, the super in again. I really like the buttons they use. It's like this twisted knot like this. It's so cute and unique. I really like that. Um, but I think personally for me, I'm just not super into very thick coats. Like it feels and looks very warm, which should be the style, but I'm personally not super into it. It has these nice big comfy pockets which I absolutely love. I'm going to try to have this lazy off-shoulder look again with this one and see if that looks better. Okay, I think it is looking a lot better. I think I personally just don't look very good with very thick materials around my neck because I have a short neck. So I might go with this if I can remember to wear it like this all the time which I don't think I will this is a very warm and essential material so if you need to be insulated I think this will do it here we have a Mickey Mouse sweater hoodie I think similar to the friend sweater it's like a medium thickness very comfortable to wear and I really like the simple Mickey silhouette I don't have a lot of Mickey clothing but I really like it when it's simple like this I really like the detail of the gold ending to the booty strings I think it looks very elegant I honestly did not expect to find a nice Mickey shirt at H&M so I think this was a great find Miniso is one of those stores where I have to go in if I see it and then sometimes I'll see these weird things like pillow memo book what is that? it's basically a pillow and a notebook we have tons of cute stuff including makeup and I saw these super cute tiny beauty blenders they're so cute Look at how small they are compared to my hand or like the regular blenders. So don't mistake this shop for kids because they do have a lot of stuff in malls like this weird, well not weird, but this actually really cute broccoli pillow stuff in mall. But it's actually not in mall. Okay, these are stuff in malls, right? This is Panda. This is a polar bear. And I'm not sure why I'm like trying to choose them when they're all the same but yeah they have a lot of stuff in this too oh look a bunny I love that bunny so let's take a look at what I got at the mall um bought a couple things from Victoria's Secret so I found um these fun closing bras that I thought was very cute and they have very cute design in the back I think front closure is just like much more convenient to use you know and they also fit me really well like it shapes me really well so I really like them and because they were also so cheap so I bought a whole bunch so here I have another one really classic black but a different design in the back more black one it's more sporty look I feel like it has this net design um, in the front also in the back okay I got this lavender color bra this one is uh, more of a regular bra I think I have the exact same one already in pink and I think it's like super comfortable so that's why I got this one as well another front closure this one's 
the blue color, very lacy, very sexy. I like the back. Very pretty. But actually, I, I don't I don't know if I have any clothes that can go with these. <laughs> so I have to really think about how, how I'm gonna dress that with them. Oh, this is the first one actually that I tried on. That is the front closure. It's also black, um, but the back is like this, and I think it's really cute and sexy looking. So, but like I said, I think the fitting is everything though, because I try a whole bunch of bra, like I always do, and a lot of times bras can be. I had to stop my cat from eating things she's not supposed to. Anyways, um, a lot of times when I try on bras, they can be really pretty, but they don't shape you well, so at the end I had to just give them up. But I think sometimes it's also difficult to tell if the bra shapes you well or not if you don't layer a piece of clothing on top to really see if it shapes you well. Because it can fit you, but does it really shape you well is like a different question. So I think for all these I kind of, I didn't really put a layer on clothing on top, but I did really look at it to make sure they shape me well. Um, and I think they do, so I, I'm really happy with them. They also have a bunch of underwear that are on sale, I guess, but it is an outlet so I guess it's maybe normal price or a little bit on sale based on the shop. Um, but it's like $2.99 so it's $3 a pair, I think that's pretty cheap. I mean I don't think I particularly like them but just kind of lacy and like metallic-y. I, I think these were like the only ones that were not dons. I think there was a whole pile but I couldn't find anything that was just like regular underwear that I can actually wear or human actually wear. I mean, you would think the reason why a whole bunch of dons is on sale is because nobody actually want to wear them. <laughs> Other than a whole bunch of underwears, I did buy this boyfriend shirt or coat that I thought was really cute. And it's becoming pretty cold lately. I mean, today I went out and I felt like it's definitely fall now. <laughs> It's definitely fall. Like I had to wear a coat, you know, so this can probably come in handy soon So thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to me having yet and I'll see you next time